It's a Scotch Test Dummies. We got Balcones, Texas Single Malt. It's an American Single Malt, baby. They just say it's a Texas Single Malt. Bart wants more regulations. I do not. I just want some clarification. And we are going to test it. Let's test it. <laughs> Boom, all right. So you're saying I want more regulations. So you're saying Explain there's that. a chance. Explain, there's a chance. People are using single malt on their whiskeys in America, and you keep saying, I want somebody to make a definition of American single malt. I want it defined. You realize there's 25 distilleries that have joined together trying to achieve the same thing legislatively. Why would they do that? Some people have said they don't want the restrictions. Those are the people not in the industry. <laughs> and I'm going to explain why. The reason they want it is that if you can get a classified American single malt, one, it sets some parameters. You can still do an Oregon single malt, all right, McCarthy's. If it doesn't fit the parameters, you can call it an Oregon single malt. Or you could do Westland or whatever you want to do. Westland, by the way, is one of the ones that wants an American single malt. Well, McCarthy's malt. is in it as well, aren't they? I think they are, yeah. actually. But by having the classification... Do I get some? Not with the way you're talking. <laughs> but by having the classification, it also opens up some things internationally as well. But it doesn't mean folks can't still experiment and do their own deal on a, in a craft distiller. Uh, what it does is gives a whole brand new organized category. And that would be regulated. Do people not like bourbon because it's Got a designation of what it is? 413, by the way. <laughs> 414. I just you said that because can, you're always right? like, I want a definition. I want something oh, to do. I'm like, man, yeah. By so the way, this ahead. was sent to us by a super Scotch God. Right. Matt Good. Say, okay, I well, wasn't sure. I know it's I'm on saying there. it. You're saying it. <laughs> Matt, be good, brother. Be good. Uh, Matt, be let's good. see. Uh, Balcones, uh, Texas single malt. Uh, they talk about uh, marketing, marketing, uh, opening aromas, marketing, marketing. I'm trying to get where they're. I don't think they're explaining exactly what they're. It goes into their taste. It does have a batch way. number. Can S you read it? SM17 5. Yeah. It was bottled in uh, July of 17. And it's like written with a crayon, though. What's going on? Well, something else is down here, handwritten. Hold on. Um, aged at least. I can't read it. 15 months in oak. 15 months. At least 15 oak months right. in oak. And it's non-chill filtered, it says. And the front is 55%. And then they say, go Texas. 53%. <laughs> Everything's 53. bigger. Everything's in bigger Texas. in Texas. That's right. All right. So that is my deal, though. You know I like American single malts, and I want a classification. Ooh. Oh, Super Scott, or uh, Scotch oh, God shout out. Yeah, we almost missed it. About moved on. But go back to our High West Double Rye review. Good one. Cheers, plebe comments. Great stuff, but I agree with Chris, talking about another commenter, okay. that the price is quite high for you guys. And I don't remember what we paid for that one. Got it. He says, I bought a bottle for 32 bucks on sale at my local grocery. Wow. It's, it's my first rye whiskey, and I am loving the notes of juniper, wintergreen, and cinnamon. So aromatic as it opens up. Then he goes on to say Fig Newtons as well. Goodness. So, But I do agree. I think some of the High West stuff is a little higher in our area than, than you hear people commenting in, in other parts of the states. I think it's really inexpensive in Utah itself, isn't it? I'm not sure. Okay. Sorry. But they've got a lot of it. Uh, Cinnamons? Yeah. Do you get a little Girl. hint of pineapple or pineapple in there? Mm. I get it underneath it. It almost reminds me like my wife loves to get the chicken pineapple pizza. <laughs> I've never understood that's weird, that. but I'm getting it. It's good. It gives that I've sour never, sweetness. I've never understood the Hawaiian pizza. Okay. I, what part? I've tried it. I just don't like it. Okay. No, the so you understand the, it, but you don't. It's pineapple and chicken, chicken and, and sauce and cheese. Sauce, yeah, it's good. It's not my you like preferred. It? I like like a, uh, I want a heart attack. I want triple meat. I baby. like that. <laughs> you throw on, you throw on Italian sausage, pepperoni. I like onions and tomatoes on there. 
Mm. Mushrooms. I don't like that as much. I don't like the shrooms. Mm. You're an anchovy guy though too, aren't you? No, I've never had anchovies, no. pizza, uh, sardines, and that's true. And you're um, a sardine dude. Yeah. E. Oysters. Oh God. Not on this. No. I don't know. It's a it's a single I a, malt. I get a brush looking, a brush yeah. fire. But I love the. Uh, I get a brown sugar, like a okay. brown sugar reduction on the stove. Well, let me look. I don't think I took notes mm. on this. God, that's kind I know of I, mouthful. I had a glass or two from it and gave it to you. Right. Now, we actually tried it together at my place, though, too, as well. Okay. And I've come back to it a few times. Not too much, though. But this is, um, you know, the first balconies we had it was, to me, it was all brush fire. Brimstone. Yeah. And it was... It caught me off guard. This one, the sweetness in here, like I said, that reduction of brown sugar on the stove is just delicious as far as the nose goes. Mm. Very rich. It says 15 months. I'm sure it's older than that. Why? As rich as it is. I can't imagine in, 15, in a year and three months that it's picked up this much flavor. It's Texas. Well, it's true. It's hot. <laughs> yeah, it's very hot. And everything's bigger. And it's big and it's hot. So I bet you it ages fast. There is some uh, some tropical... I don't know if it's pineapple. Well, uh, the There's nose, some... I got pineapple on the flavor. The fruity notes kick in mm -hmm. right around the finish. Mm -hmm. A lot. And it... <sighs> Dang, what is it? I know. Papaya. Touch... Ooh. You know what? You... I was kiwi. thinking kiwi was what I was thinking. Wow. Wow. Hmm. You know what? I don't remember that being there when we first opened the bottle. Mm. So I think that's developed. Mm. That's come around. Brown sugars. Now you say developed. Explain that. Just from oxid oxid mm. no, oxidation. Right. It's been opened. The flavors sometimes will soften. Um mature a little bit if that's the right word um most whiskey tasters know sometimes as you work your way through the bottle the flavors the profiles kind of change and that's really what that is is mm -hmm. the oxygen getting in there mm -hmm. and working i mean i've had a bottle that i started off thinking it was okay and i come back to it two months later and i'm like god yeah. dang that's good and we've what had them, we've had them when we review them you open it and you have a couple and you're like oh you know it's okay yep. it's average and then two, three months later, we come back and review it. And, and my notes aren't like, matching. Wow. I'm like, what happened here? So um, so give that a shot if you run across something. Don't always judge it right as right after you open it. Matter of fact, our show, we used to, it was a big reveal of open the bottle on the show, try it for the first time. And we had some fans tell us, hey, you know, a lot of those bottles will open up. And that's when we stepped away from that and actually made sure to the best that we can that we were sampling things before we actually put them on a show. What do you got? I was just looking up the price online because I wasn't for sure what this went for. Mm. Almost a little juicy fruit gum. Those tropical notes. It's really sweet on that tail end that, See, that I did not get before. I know. Um, man, there's a... Um, Deeper into the finish, I get an, an oaky, oh man, like an oaky brown sugar, but with a touch of the, of a fireside camp fire, like well, the day after. Or I was going to say a little bit of maybe of the barrel char. There is a little yeah, bit, yeah, little sure. slight smoke. I love that though. Yeah. It's, it's kind of tucked way underneath. Vanillas. Mm. Cream, vanilla cream. You dig in the Spider-Man manga shirt, by the almost way? Almost like a Cool Whip. Just to go completely different. You gotta like the Spider-Man, though. I figured this would be the manga shirt you liked. Well, okay. I mean, it's, it's got bad. all the vibrant colors. <laughs> it's not it's something my kid would wear. Thank you. Yeah, but they make it in 2XL, which means most kids can't hmm. wear it. You know what? Need to throw a drop. You <laughs> drink it in at 53%. It's it's I've, pretty good. Um, it drinks well. I'll add a splash of water. And I'm going to have to add a little something because I actually sipped it low. Now, is it worth it? I know we haven't scored it, but is it worth it? And then we'll score it. 
We, you don't want to score it first? Well, I don't know. I was kind of curious, and I wanted to see if the water's changing it, but it'd give us a topic to talk about why we do it. <laughs> True. <laughs> I know it's uh, 70, seventy dollars online, and I was thinking in Texas. I thought this was like a forty-five to okay. fifty dollar bottle. I would love it at forty-five to. 50. Yes, I would agree. Okay. Even seventy is probably not bad. That's probably. That's probably okay. If you're gonna do that, okay, it's fifty-three percent ABV. Boy, it doesn't taste that hot. Yeah, no, I it's thought really it was a smooth. Little I, I thought it was gonna be a forty-six. So I was just about ready to say, give me cash strength, and you kind of did. Mm. <laughs> so, the water um, actually brought out a little bit more of the smoke, try. a little bit more of that brush fire. Mm. Still as much sweetness of brown sugars in there, really good honeys. Mm. I don't have the water changing it much for me. Well, okay. No, you're right. I can see what you're saying. A little bit more of a sagebrush burning prairie fire. Mm-hmm. Mm. Hmm. Mm. Okay. With that, I'm, I'm telling you, I'd probably sip or neat. Hmm. Mm. I'm going to say 88. What do we got? Oh, at 90. All right. Um... Probably originally when we first opened the bottle, 87, I was thinking 87, 88. Okay. It's really... It's smooth. It's very changed. smooth. I was 88, 89. I'm going to stick with the 88. Um, again, I'm a big Wait, fan. was that a plus or minus one? No. I just thought I was, I was on a fence, 89. and then I nailed 88 down. <laughs> nailed it down. Where's your plus minus thing been? It's been... I haven't had anything bring in the plus or minus really? lately. For a while there, that was standard. It just kind of depends. If I'm if I'm teeter tottering like you right there, <laughs> I'll throw the plus or minus on there. But see, I can take it down. That's why I don't like that. Cotton. <laughs> okay. The you astringency, the the astringency or flavor. Because I get a little astringency on the cheek. It's almost like a cotton ball. Yeah. Okay. Like you've been to the dentist. <laughs> they packed a tooth. <laughs> That's pleasant. <laughs> you might need some of this. So we didn't pull up a traveling dummy. Oh, I, I might have one, one handy. Um, oh, you thought I had it? Right? Well, I've got one. Well, if you don't, let me do it well, again. Well, I thought you said you were ready to go when we filmed. Let I'm me get some everything messages. ready. Messages. I'm ready. Hold on, I got it. I got some. I got it. We're in New York City at Radio City. Oh, yeah. City. I know which one you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, Radio City. That's Walleye read... Killer, isn't it? Boom. Yeah. Don Bam. McClure. Look at that. The right Walleye there. Killer. Oh, I didn't see the Radio City yeah, one. That's, I saw them at Times Square. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the uh, Play see, Wicked. We'll show that one later. Yeah. I don't know about Play Wicked. What are you talking about? Um, it might have been on Instagram well, We or might Twitter. need to use that later, but I love Radio the City. Wicked, so you're looking play, at that now. Broadway Who's this play. in the background? Is that a, who is that? That's a traffic cop? It says traffic. But it looks like he has no head. I'm just saying, take a look. You folks, as you're watching it right now, he's wearing some kind of hoodie or something. It's very disconcerting. But they've got uh, Music Hall Radio City and Ricardo Montaner is going to be there March 10th and then maybe Gloria something. I'm just going to say a Stefan. It's probably not. <laughs> it looks like he's got a, a 308 maybe. I can't tell. But he is in New York City. And I told him, keep sending him. Because his, uh, we'll, we'll do another future one where he is, he is, uh, um, well, he's had some different landmarks. We'll just leave it there. Yeah. I know you kind of said already Times Square, but yeah, it's neat. Anything else? Uh, Balcones, Texas Single Malt. I think it's good. I like what they're doing. Thanks to Matt Good for making sure we got this bottle. Boom. Arranging for us to get it. Arranging as for we it. Say. Uh, we love that. Mm -hmm. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Uh, Mid-April, we'll take her down <laughs> before we close Sorry, out. Sorry, never mind. We need to remind everybody, mid-April, the shirts will be coming down off the website. Some mm. of them are going to get revamped. Some of the designs are coming down for good. We got the brand um, new Cast 3. Are we calling it Cast 3 no, or Edition just third three? edition. Okay, third, third edition. Third edition, Glenn Cairns are out now yeah it's we're never going to repeat the same design right we always do an order so, of 100 and then we uh we redo it yeah which is fun go to scotchtestdummies.com and order a glenn cairns you might get 413 <laughs> boom or uh, well, uh, glenn cairns whiskey hats yeah yeah poker Challenge chips coin. i like it are, are we ready yes scotch it you scotch gods so launch it part two dummies <laughs>